Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to show you how I clean my small uh, fish tanks and we're going to be using a small pen and a quarter inch uh, uh, tubing. So without any further delay let's quickly make our siphon using this pen. So I'm going to take the refill out of it as you can see it is empty. I'm going to throw the cap away. We don't need that and let's open it from here. Now as you can see that if I take my tube and the pen this will fit at this end very easily. So our pen is completely uh, on top of the uh, inside the tube. And the reason we are using a tube uh, pen is because it is a stiff and it is much easier to uh, move across inside your small tank using the pen. However, if I just use the tube, as you can see the tube likes to bend in either direction and it becomes much easier, it becomes much difficult to clean the uh, tank using just the tube. However, when using a pen, I can direct the pen in any direction and it will not bend. So vacuuming all the dust, uneaten foods and fish waste uh, becomes much easier when using a pen. As you can see on at the back of the pen, here is the opening. So water will be sucked in through this tube and will be outputted through this tube, this end, inside the bucket. But we have one problem because we have uh, two holes here, so we um, I will put a little bit of tape on top of the holes so that our vacuum or the siphon doesn't break. So let me just do that. So I've applied some tapes to block the hole and I will not use my mouth to suck the water to start the uh, siphon. Uh, so what I will do is basically I will fill the tube with water and hold them in level. Uh, now when I wanted to siphon I will take this to take the pen side and dip that inside my tank and I will take this other end and throw that inside the container in which I want to collect the dirty water. This way the siphon will start on itself and I will not have to use my mouth to suck the water. So let me just fill this tube with water and let's clean my small uh, Danio fish tank. So here is my small tank as you can see I am keeping two Danio fish inside this tank. I'm running this tank for more than now uh, 8 months now, almost 8 months, haven't lost a fish, the fish are doing great. I'm using a sponge filter inside that tank which I'm running using a small air pump. And uh, this is a bare bottom tank because it's a very small tank, I don't want to keep anything else inside this tank uh, to make sure that the water volume doesn't decrease. And here is the tube that I'm going to use, siphon the uh, dust and the fish waste from the bottom. So if I take, take the other end, uh, the pen side up, the water will start flowing from this end. I've already filled this tube uh, with water uh, and when I will dip uh, the pen end inside the tank uh, and this end will go inside the container below. Let me just show you here that container. When I will drop the this end inside the container, the water will automatically start flowing through this tube uh, into the container and the other end uh, that is attached to the pen will go inside the tank and I will use the pen to vacuum uh, inside the uh, tank. So let me just zoom in and let's just do that. Okay. The end is in, the water is start flowing and now all I have to do is now vacuum the bottom. Make sure that I get behind the filter as well. And on top of the filter as well. The tank is very small, it's 5 liter, but I think for keeping just two Danio fish, it is not that small, considering that I haven't lost any fish in the last 
टाइम आई थिंक वी गॉट मोस्ट ऑफ इट नाउ There we go. That's about it. Let me finish and let's fill the tank. Uh, with some water and if i just show you inside the container uh, you can probably see that stuff in the middle focus camera please as you can see that black part uh, there is basically the dust uh, uneaten food and all the waste that was produced by the fish so let's just uh, fill up the tank and start uh, the filter up okay let's fill up the tank let me just zoom it in a little bit and that's enough so with the water that i'm using i get my water from a well so i don't have to use a dechlorinator if i lived in a city then i would definitely have used some dechlorinator inside this tank so since my water comes from a well i don't have to dechlorinate and the water is same temperature as the fish are in let me add another mug of okay so i filled up the tank and i've turned on the filter and this is how the tank looks there are only two danios fish inside this tank haven't lost lost a fish for the past uh, in the past 8 months they are doing well eat well no problem so far looks really beautiful and i didn't clean the sponge filter because i cleaned it about 2 days ago all you do is take the uh, tank water uh, the water that we just thrown away and you take the sponge and you take the sponge and you squeeze the sponge inside the tank water the water that we just just we just thrown away and that way you clean your sponge filter uh, how do you know when to clean your filter uh, the bubbles uh, are very less you only see a couple of bubbles uh, the speed of the bubbles reduces significantly when the filter needs to be clean and once you clean the filter uh, the air is uh, going very fast through the filter and the bubbles are much more so that's way that way you can tell uh, when your sponge filter needs a cleaning and when you need to clean that so there we go this was this is how i clean my small tanks or all my small tanks uh, because the opening of the small tanks are very small you don't want to put too much stuff in there also you want to make sure that you uh, need to increase the water volume as much as possible and uh, taking uh, not uh, putting anything else inside the tank helps uh, just using the tube is not possible because the tube bends in either direction which makes the uh, the vacuuming of the bottom very difficult so using a pen or a stiff tube at the other end uh, really helps so this was how i clean my video i hope you like this video and found this video helpful in some way and with that said i conclude this video thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye